Can you share about what that was, why it got to the point to where you wanted to be baptized and kind of what that moment was like for you? Uh, well, you know, uh, we, were, we were talking about it actually for you know almost two years and we were trying to figure out the right time and then we just kind of came to the, to the realization that there wasn't going to be a good time. Um, so we just, you know, pretty much set a date and, you know, we've been working together, you know, just trying to get closer, um, closer together and closer in my path to Christ. So um, we, we knew that this was the next step. This was the next step that I decided on my own to do just, you know, with my faith. And, um, my wife ended up actually getting baptized with me. So, you know, it was definitely a great event. We got baptized at Johnny Hecker's house, you know. Um, because we have our own uh, couples Bible study that we do uh, weekly. So um, it was a really, really great moment. You know, uh, I was glad I was being able to share with my teammates and, and with my chaplain. And, uh, you know, it just gave me a great feeling through and through. What did it mean to do that with your wife, kind of together and not just doing that stuff on your own, but with her? Um, you know, uh, as, a, as a man in your household, you're supposed to be, you know, the spiritual leader at home. So for me to be able to, you know, take my wife on that and just, you know, get her to feel calm enough to do that with me is just a huge step in the right direction for me and my family. What's this uh, year been like for you spiritually and the growth that you've made, obviously coming to the point where you made that decision to get baptized? Uh, I think that... Uh, I think that my relationship uh, with Christ has been you know, closer than it's ever been. Um, you know, I've been, I've been definitely just doing the daily things in order to get that right. And, you know, I feel like having that closer relationship takes a lot of the pressure off and a lot of the stress that you have in daily life. So um, I've been able to go through this entire season with just, you know, kind of just a different joy. You know, people you know, detect the different energy around me, and it's allowed me to be successful. Last one for me. What was the biggest spiritual lesson, or what's been the biggest spiritual lesson for you this season that God has taught you? Um, you know, just uh, basically just about being in the book. I mean, you know, of course, it's nice to listen to people. It's, it's nice to listen to your chaplain, your pastor, but, you know, you, you start to really be able to personalize everything, what you read it yourself. And through doing that, it's been a lot easier for me to just kind of walk that narrow path. Yeah, good, good. Thanks, so Roger. You, you Thank understand you. today that your ability can't get you on the football field unless you know the playbook. Right. Pretty tough to get into heaven if you don't know the playbook. That's right. Or the Bible. And you understand that today. Absolutely. Yeah. Last question from me. Our program, Christian Network, uh, is themed Finish Strong. Mm -hmm. Tell us a few things maybe that today what you do to finish strong, to keep that solid walk, to understand that our feet always speak louder than what we say verbally. Uh, well, for me, I think it's just constant learning. You know, uh, you know, there's always things that you end up listening to or end up reading that you just, you know, kind of find out know about yourself and, you know, about your relationship and just, you know, through the eyes of the Lord, just kind of like how he's looking on you, uh, recognizing that you don't deserve the grace that you receive and then being able to, to, to use that daily. Uh, you know, it helps me through all of my different situations. Uh, so, you know, it's just like you said, you know, finishing strong through the day or finishing strong through a situation that you may be going through is going to help us in getting where we need to be in heaven.